It's currently minus four and my Tesla Model Y is frozen this morning. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how quick the preconditioning works. So it's saying that the interior temperature is actually minus two. I guess that's because the sun is on it, but we can go there and it's 8.34. So we can say on and we'll see how long that takes to heat the temperature up to 20 degrees. So it's now 8.35, so that's when the timer is gonna start. And I can hear now the fans have come on at the front of the car. The advantage of defrosting an electric car like this is the vehicle remains locked. So no one can steal it and there's no poisonous fumes belting out the back. So if you're outside while your Tesla is defrosting, the first thing you might notice on a Model Y is that the rear heater is only heating half the glass. And I've seen people ask online, is my heater broken? But that's how they're meant to be on the Tesla Model Y. It's only heating that lower part. That top part isn't heated at all because inside you're only looking out at this lower part, even though it doesn't look like that from inside. You're just looking out that lower part of the screen. So that's all that defrosts. And then on the windscreen, as you can see, it's defrosting from the bottom, but the camera has defrosted already because there's similar elements in the glass there to defrost around the cameras as there is in the rear screen. And you can see where the wires go along here because that's all defrosted as well. So it's now been four minutes and the interior temperature is at 17 degrees already and exterior is at minus two. It's now 8.40 and I've just had a notification on the app to say the cabin is up to the desired temperature. It's currently at 18 degrees, so two degrees off the target, but it's achieved that in just five minutes. So in five or six minutes, the cabin has got up to 19 degrees, which is pretty impressive considering it started at minus two or maybe actually a bit lower. And the windscreen has melted, so I can see out of the windscreen can't really see out the side windows yet, but as you can see, it's getting quite soft. Still a bit frozen over here, but I could drop those windows and clear those well enough. And the back window is completely defrosted. Teslas have frameless windows and the glass has to drop before the door is opened to get it out of the seals and away from this roof trim. But if the car is frozen, you have to take a bit of extra care to make sure the glass hasn't frozen to the door seals and is actually dropping before you yank the door open. Some people have broken their glass by pulling open a frozen door when the window hasn't been able to drop first. So if your car is frozen, there's two things you want to do on the app to safely open the doors on a Tesla. That is vent the windows first and then use the unlatch function if your door handles are frozen. So let's just vent the windows. and then unlatch the door. So now I'm in a nice warm cabin, which is at 20 degrees. My seat is nice and warm, as is the steering wheel, and it's minus three outside. So I hope you found that video useful. If you have, please do click the thumbs up. That really helps. If you want to know more about the Tesla Model Y, in the video description below is a link to a playlist where you can see other videos I made on this car. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next one. The videos I make on this channel are primarily to help others and share knowledge. If you found a video helpful, please show your appreciation by at least clicking the thumbs up button and leaving a comment also helps too, as does subscribing to the channel. All of this is free of charge. I do not use paid memberships or Patreon, which is how most YouTubers earn their money. I only earn from the YouTube ad commissions. But under every video on this channel is a super thanks button. So if you found a video particularly useful, or maybe it saved you money or time, then please consider a donation using the super thanks button. You could buy me a coffee, a pint, or contribute to the running cost of this channel. There's over 1100 videos on this channel now. So please have a browse, use the search, and have a look at the playlists.